I'm here with Joe, and Joe is gonna walk us through her ab routine right now. So Joe, you do abs every single day, yes? Yep, so I have a yoga mat at home in my bedroom every morning, just do the same routine. Um, I do other stuff as well to change it up, but this is kind of the basic exercises that I use, the ones that I'm going to show you today. Okay, so how many different types of ab exercises do you do? So in this routine, there are five exercises. One of them you have to do on each side, so I guess kind of six. Um, and I normally do 50 reps of each exercise, and I do two rounds with no rest. but uh, if you're starting out, I'd recommend maybe 20 reps of each exercise and see how you feel after one round, maybe take a rest, try another round. It's really up to you, you can kind of adapt it, which is what's great about this routine. Okay, so someone like me, I'm only going to be able to do 20, so what's the, what's the first exercise you're going to do? Okay, the first exercise, we're going to do a leg raise. Okay. So you just need to be lying on the floor like this. Have your hands by your sides, feet together. Just lift your legs up slowly, keeping your legs straight. And then you do a little lift with your bum at the top. Lower and back down again. Uh, number two now is going to be the bicycle. So again, lying on your back. This time, hands just behind your ears. Lift your head. Uh, so the bottom of your shoulder blades are touching the ground. Uh, but your shoulders are lifted off, lift your legs and slowly twist and come in and touch your elbow to your knee. Okay. Exercise number three, the simple crunch. So for this one, you want your fingers by your temples and you just lift so your shoulders are just off the ground. You don't want to go all the way, just curl. Tense your abs and lower back down. Great. Okay, exercise four. This time you're lying on your stomach and you put your hands with your fingers by your temples again. You want to bend your feet inwards and your feet stay flat on the ground. And you simply tense your stomach and raise your chin off the ground. You want to be raising your shoulders off the ground as high as you can by just tensing your stomach. Okay, exercise five, uh, which is the same on each side, is the oblique crunch. So for this one, you want to lie on your side, hands again uh, with fingers around where your temples are, and you're just going to slowly curl up onto one side and curl back down. So you're quite twisted for this exercise. It's going to be working the muscles in your obliques just here. And you do the same on the other side. Okay, that's all the exercises. Okay, so now we're going to do a full set and we'll do 20. So you can follow, someone at home can follow along with this. Yeah, so we're going to do 20 reps of each exercise yeah. and you can follow along. Okay.
found it too easy, you can do more reps, you can do more rounds. But if you found it too hard, start off with less reps. The important thing is to keep good form. That was the abs exercise. I know I need to work on those, so I'm gonna go start doing this every day, and I hope you do too. Joe, thank you so much for coming on. We're gonna have you back. Yes. yes. Joe is a pro climber. We're gonna put her Instagram on here. She's also a coach with Catalyst Climbing. So if you are in London and you want some professional coaching, make sure you go to catalystclimbing.com, link down below, and keep watching for more videos like this. Yeah. Thanks for coming. We'll see you guys later. Just a quick announcement for everybody who doesn't know the news already. Joe and Louis both came first place overall for this year's Blockfest season. They had a really great showing this last weekend. Joe came a close second place to Alex Puccio, and she was first going into the finals. He had a really great day. And Louis came first place for the last comp, so he had another great showing. And they both won first place overall, so it was amazing. Make sure you send them your congratulations. We're going to get Joe back from the show, and then her and Louis can go head to head again. And we'll see once and for all who is the true number one. Until next time, take care.